What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John, for the Gamma here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, I am having a fantastic day myself. I, as y'all know, need a team recap. Because your boy hasn't recorded the series since month long. You know it. The series where Jonas and I literally played every single Pokemon game back to back to back to back to back. In the main series, you know, we won it. Yay. I went 11 and 5 in month lock, so that tells you my track record with Nuzlocke, if anything else. And let's go ahead and get straight into the team recap because your boy needs one. So, if you guys did not know, um, Cage Lock went out yesterday, today, as of the day recording. It is July 4th, so hopefully, you guys had a great Independence Day. This won't go up until tomorrow. But hey, that's something, right? So, the only thing I remember is last episode we lost our hard carry, which is never a good thing. You don't want to lose your hard carry. So let's get into this. We've got Papa the two cannon, who was our starter. I do remember that with the refrigerator ability with liquidation, X's or Dizzy Punch, and play rough. We have Sandy, the level 32 Grand Bull, holding the expert belt with liquidation, headbutt, moon blast, and dragon claw with that brave nature, because she's brave AF. Then we got uh, Daddy, the Machamp, you know, anytime we get a Machamp, we have to name it Daddy, because that's what it is. And with Storm Throw, Brick Break, Liquidation, and Cotton Guard with the Sap Sipper ability, which, unfortunately, it's got the exact opposite of a Brave Nature, but, you know, it worked out. We got Nick, our lovely Gathita, you know, the French maid, everything else. Nick would, Nick would get the reference um, with Photom Geyser. Moon Geist Beam, Earth Power, and Volt Switch. This move set is to die for. Holding the EV Light because it's going to evolve next level. Then we have Fitta, the Ice Body Aromatisse, with the Flower Shield, Discharge, Waterfall, and Ice Hyper Fang with the Ice Body ability. And lastly, we got Drake Swan, the S Latias. Or Latios, excuse me, holding the amulet coin with kind of a man moveset, sparkling aria, psychic, yawn, and mean look. Now, if you guys don't know how a gen lock works, because this is not a series that nobody has ever this the last time somebody's done this was four years ago, because you know, your boy does some very fresh and original content. What it is, as you can tell by my team, is that I can only have one Pokemon from every are from Ed Generation. So, for example, like if we look at my PC, I'll show you my PC, kind of explain how everything works, kind of tell you how the video structures go, because I want y'all to know what's going on, because I, after my vlog, have a lot of new people. Love you all. You guys are the best. And I just kind of need to re explain some things, go along some things, because our family has gotten 223 people stronger. So, basically, the way I've organized my box, I know, this is gross, five deaths, we should never have five deaths in this, I know, there's a Mega Swapper in there, but, so, basically, this can kind of show you exactly what it is, so I have my, all my Gen 1 Mons in one slot, so if Daddy the Machamp ends up dying, I can pull out from one of those, Megas do count as the generation that the original Pokemon was from. So there is a potential that we can get multiple Megas on the team. Then we got Gen 2, 3. We've got no backups for Gen 4. We haven't even... But, like, Fionn died, and Fionn was the only Gen 4 Mon. We got Gen 5, Gen 6. We got no backups either, and 7. So we can get one Pokemon from each generation of play so that it will allow us to get so many diverse movesets, diverse Pokemon, and everything else. So do we have healing items that is gonna be a big question yeah we got 20 we're fine we're good we're good we're okay so today we actually have an interesting episode we get to fight olivia now to my knowledge okay i don't even remember how this is randomized anymore because my vlog has literally destroyed every means to an end here um and i want to make sure that like i actually am in frame i should be i am in frame i'm gonna move down oh the camera down just just a tad Had because I looked at the last episode of Cage Lock and I'm like, there's still time, and it's like, that's not gonna work. So, um, today I got my punishment drink. No, it's not really a punishment drink, it's just two meows combined, so it looks ugly AF. Because I figure I need to punish myself for losing Mega Swamper because that was my favorite mon. Zayden did not deserve to die. 
Um, so it's lemonade and blueberry pomegranate. <laughs> it's not going to taste good at all, but we're out here. We're going to have fun, and that's what matters, right? So I hope you guys' this day was really good. I really hope that your 4th of July went very well because that's always a good thing. Um, but yeah, we, we had a good 4th of July so far. Uh, and that's fun. We're going to go to a lake and we're going to just kind of hang out a private lake. It's going to feel freaking amazing. Um, of course we don't have our own private lake, but like, um, there's nobody's there during 4th of July. And it's like, oh, it's so beautiful to get away, like get away from everybody and just hang out. It's like, if only that could happen all the time. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and fight these guys. We have two encounters that we're going to get and fighting Olivia. Now, the way I randomized this game, to my knowledge, is that Force Fully Evolve is level 40. There is a 15% level boost, if I'm not mistaken. And trainers have a random chance of having shinies. Um, moves are randomized in the same exact way that they were in Month Lock. Um, so that should help, uh, except for this time we're level boosted. So... I don't know how high we're level boosted, but we can actually go ahead and see that after we find Olivia. Because Olivia normally is level 28. Um, and clearly she won't be if we're trained up to level 30. I want to say that she's going to be level 31. Zara Aura. Oh, no, 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 no. Zara Aura be more like Zara Problem. Like, uh, Zara Aura is going to be a pain in the butt. We, But we love him, though. But anyway, so, funny story. Um, so I was looking at my YouTube analytics, and it's already crazy enough. Uh, I can't wait to drink this literally disgusting thing. Wow. Oh, that, that bites hard. Okay. Um, but I was kind of looking at my YouTube analytics, looking at everything from Monthlog, and Monthlog, or I, I have this hoo hoo video that went out three freaking years ago. And this Hoodoo video has now amassed more views than anything on my entire channel. And it's a video of a Hoot Hoot. Literally me catching a Hoot Hoot in Pokemon Go has now become the most popular thing on my channel. Also, do not get a crit, please. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and it's like, why? Why does that amass the, like, out of anything in on my channel? That's the thing that YouTube decided to push out after a month long. So now it's actually, by the time this video releases, we'll probably be at 2K views. I'm just like, bruh, why? It's like, couldn't anything else have been pushed out? Like, I don't know. I really love Versus. I really love Cage Lock with Aaron. Both Aaron's are amazing. And no. No. YouTube says this 30 second video of a hoot hoot will make your channel blow up out of nowhere. It's like, okay. Love you, YouTube. You're the best. That's all I can say to that because, like, I can't say anything bad because I'm like, oh, my videos. I'm not gonna complain about my videos getting views. Like, that's amazing. Also, y'all showed up in the first episode of Cage Log. I just, or the sec technically, it's the first episode of Cage Log because Aaron privated the one because it was edited. Like, it was rough. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Um, it wasn't terrible. It just. There was some missed editing things, and so I edited episode two. I synced it all and got it already. He was amazing because I was like, I can upload it with the layout that I have because the layout that I have is not the official layout because I don't have Photoshop. I have a GIMP, which is a different kind of platform. It's something that's completely different. Um, and so I don't get all of the stuff that, like, Aaron does. So Aaron was a freaking legend. And, uh, okay, good. I, you don't have my mascot. Have we learned this already? If you have my mascot, you're gonna die. Just saying. Um, level 27, holy cannoli, Batman. Why are they all high level like this? Um, muddy Water Magikarp. That makes sense. I can I can get uh, stuck in the mud a little bit. Um, look at that, 10 damage. Um, but yeah, so he was a legend and he was like, okay, you're doing Mothlog. Let me just get the layouts, put the layouts on. So, he did all of the layout edits from episode one to four. And I can't say thank you enough for him to do that. And same, like, like literally, the fact that he worked with me like that was amazing. And I can't, like I said, I just have to give him the, the nod there because he deserves it. Because um, without that, 
I wouldn't have been able to get back on track with some like half of my series. Okay, also, I swear that we haven't gotten an encounter here. Crap. I'm going to get it anyway. And then I'm going to check uh, last episode. Because last episode was an hour of power, so I don't remember what happened a month ago. So I'm going to be just safe, get my encounter here, see what it is. Hopefully it's something, and hopefully I didn't get an encounter here. Um, oh, it's a Glaceon. I want it so bad. Please, please tell me I didn't get an encounter. As long, please tell me I did not get an encounter. I feel like I did, but please, for the love of all that is holy, please tell me I did not get my encounter. Also, I could probably just, I might just kill it with a liquidation, so it doesn't matter. Oh my god, how in the world do you live that? I mean, I got a negative attack nature, so that kind of makes sense that I live that that badly, but um, uh, wow, I am impressed. Um, 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 no, um, you ain't killing daddy. Daddy does not deserve to die right now. Um, oh boy. This becomes more of an issue than I would have anticipated. Okay, let's go into Sandy. It's got protein though. And protein is actually a freaking viable ability. <gasps> it's Gen 4. It's Gen 4. It's Gen 4. Oh my god, I just, I just put the realization together. This is a Gen 4 Mon. If anything dies, this can be in the immediate replacement. Because I need this on the team. Like, I just realized that it was Generation 4. And that made this thing even more viable than it already was. Because, I mean, it's a Glaceon. Like, it's actually a viable Pokemon as is. And now that it's actually a bat... Like, it's an immediate straight shot no matter who dies. It's like, bruh, we need this thing. Because no matter who dies, this can actually go in because of the way the gen lock works. I can only have one from every generation. Since I have no generation four mons on the team right now, it gets it gets a straight shot in here. <coughs> and so that does mean a that is a humongous encounter that I like I said, better. Ah you're a Glaceon, please be nice to me. That's all I ask. You're being you're not being nice, and I don't like it. Ah, oh, this Glaceon's being so much fun. Uh, no, honestly, it's a Glaceon. What do you expect? It's not going to be fun to fight a Glaceon. It's got Aurora Beam Freeze Dry as well, which I really do appreciate. Like, Freeze Dry is actually big. It helps out against the water types because bulky water types are the best Pokemon ever. I wish Ice didn't only resist itself because that would be very helpful. Um... Nest Ball helps with lower level Pokemon, but you're level 24, so that's not really going to work. Not going to work the way we want it to work. But, I mean, we can try it. Yeah, no. Ugh. Like, why? Oh. Protein makes literally anything you want to use against me stab. Ugh. And I don't have... Ice type is actually a type that hurts my team now that I'm looking at it. I mean, not really, I guess. Daddy can, like, just whip it with a big freaking um, storm throw. Because that automatically guarantees... That's a guaranteed crit, so... Okay, I guess not really. I have I have a means to destroy it. It's just... Do I want to? And that, that question is no. Or the answer to the question is no. Obviously, I don't want to destroy my encounter. Three, triple jiggle! Yes, okay. Thank goodness. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to name this thing. Because I typically name after the comment section. But, like, and so if you want to be named after Pokemon, the best way to do that is leave a comment on the, in the comments below. I am going to name this thing Natasha, though. Because Natasha showed out in... Whatever it was. In uh, Mothlock. What, whatever it was. Literally something that nobody's done before. And what is your reference to it? Whatever it was. Oh, John, you have some work to do. Natasha. Thank you so much for supporting Mothlock as much as you did. It means the world to us, obviously. And we're going to go ahead and check Natasha's summary, even though we don't necessarily need to, because we know its ability already. 
Okay. Hold on, they meet you tonight. Why? It's even more defensive because it's got a positive defense. Okay. I just got a move that guaranteed crits. We take that. That That's like immediate replacement right there. Like, you can't even deny that that's immediate replacement because, like, no matter what dies, it can come in and say hello. Like, there's absolutely no way, shape, or form that it's not going to be the mod that's on my mind to replace stuff with. Especially after that. So, other thing that I need to talk about instead. So, I try and keep Genlog at about a 20-minute episode. Around 20 to 25 minutes. So, hopefully you guys like that length. The only reason I've been... I, because this series was actually a test-out series. It was a series that I wanted to see, like, how YouTube would actually, like, mess with a shorter Pokemon series. Because... A lot of series for Pokemon are like 30, 35, 40 minutes. And it's like, are you really going to want to sit there and watch 30, 40 minute episodes? Like, I do it. Because, especially for creators I like, like Ryan, Frank, um, the core four videos and stuff like that. Like, videos that actually are engaging. Like, Shady and, like, stuff like that. Like, I'll actually watch their videos for that extended period of time but i don't expect anybody to do that on my channel i don't expect anybody to watch videos on my channel like honestly like the fact that you guys actually want to support is amazing and like it's beautiful and i love it um because i never have expectations like i said the first episode that went out of cage log i am still freaking mind blown at the amount of people that actually cared and wanted to watch the episode like would have never guessed the amount of support that you guys gave. So, like I said, the only thing I can say is thank you. Um, and it is. It's literally the only thing I can say. Uh, <clears throat> so, I'm wanting to... S this is a very, a very, very much a test series. So, I, like... And I want to get the community involved, get everybody involved to talk about it. And see what you guys enjoy and what you guys like. Yes, that means that this is going to be a longer series, inevitably, because this is episode 21, I believe, actually. Uh, yes, it is episode 21. Or 20. 20 or 21. I don't know. It's 20 or 21. That's all that matters. Technoblast. Ooh, who's learning that? Is that... Ooh. Oh. 120 base power? Oh, wait. It's special, though. It's special. Thank God I paid attention to that one. John almost big oofied. I was like, oh, it's higher base power. Therefore, it's better. No, the physical special split has always existed since Generation 4, John. It de you definitely didn't play a Pokemon game. You should have known that already. But yeah, so this is a very experimental series. But I've learned a lot during the series. One thing I've learned is YouTube does not like new stuff. They would rather me do a Nuzlocke video, just a standard Nuzlocke, the boring AF Nuzlocke, and be okay. Now, obviously, they're not boring. I just you know, exemplified the fact that they're not what I wanted to do. So I obviously regular Nuzlocke's will come, but like I've got a master mode that's going to start. I've got gen lock. I've got a cage lock. I've got versus. So I've got a lot of other different kinds of things that I just have been enjoying a lot more. Uh, okay. This is an actual official encounter that this much. I do know that this is an official encounter. Um, I just realized Olivia might not be this episode. Olivia might be next episode because Plumeria is going to come up and be like, ha, 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 I'm Plumeria. So my encounter for this area is a Chimichar. Another Gen 4 mod. You know what? We'll take it. <laughs> we will take all the Gen 4 mods we can get because that means guaranteed if this, if the, um, whatever it's called is not an actual Pokemon, the, um, if the Glazion is not an official Pokemon, that does mean we have an official Pokemon that's from Gen 4. So, that's a positive. Uh, as much as it's not an Infernape, it will become something better in the long run. Um, oh my god, the moveset on this thing is actually really good. I'm going to Discharge, because that's the best thing I can do. I don't think I... I might actually kill it with the Discharge, now that I think about it. Oh, no, 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 we're fine. We're fine. I only got the para. Let's go. Okay. So... That's two Mons that are going to be on the team, guaranteed. Um, no holds bar. Because um, we should catch this very easily. But yeah, besides this is such an experimental series, it does require like 
a lot of like your guys' thought process on what to do and how you guys feel and what you guys think and I like that about it. I like the fact that this is not just my series, it's your guys's as well. Because you guys your guys' opinions play a part to how this series goes and how it operates. And that just I guess is a testament to the fact that I actually care. And I actually want you guys to like what's going on. Because I feel like if you guys don't like what's going on, then why am I doing it, right? Like, obviously, I'm supposed to entertain you guys as the creator. I make videos for you guys. Um, for myself, too, because I love it. And it's something that I enjoy doing. But, like, if I'm doing it for you and not consulting you about what you like... Then what am I doing? Well, how am I? What am I? What does that mean to me as a creator? That just means that I just don't care, right? I don't care about what you guys think. I'm gonna do whatever I want, and I don't like that philosophy at all. Um, I like. I am definitely more of the the philosophy of. Oh, I'm also gonna name this. This oh, I named something Aaron already. Oh wait, Aaron said he named this something specifically. My first thing's hash brown, but I don't think it's right. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Sorry, Aaron. I thought I paid attention way more than I did. This is what happens when you compose a six-page tweet while you're talking to somebody. Uh, I feel so bad right now. I really do. Hash brown, I believe, is what Aaron said he named these things. I, I know I could have just texted Aaron an episode, but we'll see. It has. It doesn't really matter. Tented. Oh, why couldn't that be your actual final ability? Tinted Lens is so good. It makes it so that not very effective moves are actually neutral, basically. It's like almost basically to the point where they are, are they are neutral. If because it's 1.3 times power. Um. Sand attack. Ooh, the best TM in the game. You gotta see it. You gotta love it. Okay. So we are not gonna fight Olivia in this episode. We are actually gonna fight her in the next episode because we got Plumeria. Um, and actually, aw, oh, darn it. I was gonna leave you off on a cliffhanger. But I can't do that now, can I? <laughs> I was gonna, it was gonna be adult back-to-back 66s, and that was gonna be the episode title. And I could actually do that right now, but I'm not going to. Um, because I'm not that kind of a person. But, yeah, because, I don't know, these. I think these are 6v6s. I think I guaranteed them to be 6v6. That's why I boosted the levels 15%. Yup, there it is. It's a 6v6. Okay, Plumeria is going to lead off with a Snarly. Oof, it's Mikey, guys. Mikey's going to kill me now. I, I'm killing his mascot. Well, I'm not killing his mascot, but we all know who is. Oh, my God, level 29. Okay, so, yeah. It is 15% boosted, guaranteed right there. That that was that that's proof that it's 15. Um Yeah, it's 15 and the totem the totems. Oh god, that was loud. And the totems are 10%. Ah, oh, Starly, what do you want to what are you gonna do? Like, okay, first off, I'm gonna switch. And Dizzy Punch, because that's super effective. Um, because two cannon is definitely better than Starly in this instance. I love Star Raptor and it's my favorite bird. Um, you will not get me to say otherwise, no matter what happens. Um, Starly is always going to be my favorite bird Pokemon, and I'm not saying that because it's Mikey Starter, but it's like, Gen 4 just hits me so hard with the nostalgia factor. Like, it's not even funny. So, um, unfortunately... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wow. Okay, Starly, why are you hitting like a truck? Why did Starly hit like a truck? I know I hit myself for just about the same amount of damage, but dang, Starly. You hit with so much force on that wing attack. Like, bruh. It did 30 damage on a wing attack, and it's a Starly. Does Starly have huge power? Because Starly can totally have huge power. That's kind of what it looks like. It's going to do 30 to me. And we're going to get Joy's Luck with Confusion. Yay! We love Joy's Confusion Luck. It's literally, like, the best Confusion Luck in the entire game. Um, wow. Why is a Starly putting in this much work? It's because I complained about it. It's because I told me... I, I literally said that Starly was a, not a good Pokemon. And, like, that was something that was great for us to start off against. And then it's like, 
Ha ha ha. Remember when you said that? And you're going to regret everything you said just from now. Watch. She's going to get a crit. It's going to get a crit. And I'm going to hit myself in confusion. And I'm going to lose Papa to a Starly. Like, that's... Oh, wait. What? Oh, quick... Quick Lodge just popped. Okay, nice. And I just snapped out of confusion. Okay, thank goodness. That should kill. There's no way this is not a one-shot, right? Okay, good. I was gonna say, there is no way that a super effective Dizzy Punch does not kill a Starly. Um, oh, it's a Rowlet. <laughs> We're gonna pop this too. Our team is all little birdies. They're, they're Dinos. They're all little Dinos. No, Dino is a loud bird. So Dino Dino is the equivalent of a Chatot, according to Joy. Uh, no, not according to Joy. That's according to me. But from what I've heard from Joy, Dino is a little Chatot. And yeah, um, Golem. Oh, I was thinking of the different one I was thinking of. Um, I'm so glad I actually was paying attention. Um, Drake's gonna sparkling Arya and kill this thing in one shot. Good to know. Um, yeah, we got this. Where chill? We got this. Okay. Um, so I casually forgot a Lolo forms exist. I just immediately went, okay, you're rock ground. You're fine. We can kill you in one shot. But no. Also, this thing lived on one, didn't it? It did not just live on one. It did. <sighs> and this is why I love Pokemon so much, and it makes my day even better every day, because things live on one for stupid reasons. Also, love the sound of Sparkling Aria, by the way. Like, the little, like, the twinkling after the water pops, it's just beautiful. Um... Wow. Okay. Drake wants to... Okay. Drake? No, 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 no. We want to get rid of Mean Look because Mean Look is actually hot garbage. Um, there's literally no point for it. Um, Nick is going to evolve too. Let's go. Oh. That's the Salamence. Um, that's fine because uh, Papa, right? Yeah, that's totally fine. Papa literally has a... Quad effective move. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. You're okay. It could be a Mega Salamence, but we're okay. Even if it is a Mega Salamence, it is not okay. We're fine. We're even like I was a little worried about a Mega Salamence. Not gonna lie, but we're okay. Dragon Rush. Ooh. Oh, 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 this game. Oh, 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 oh boy, that did way more damage than I would have ever thought it would have done. Daddy wants to learn energy ball. No, you're not a special attacker. Pampor. You know what would have been great right now? Energy ball. <laughs> oh, this game hates me. I hate the fact that I hate how much this game hates me. I'm not even going to lie when I say that. This game hates me to a higher level than anything I could have ever imagined. It's like, it's like, oh, let's learn Energy Ball. And the game's like, you didn't, yeah. And I say no, and the game's like, haha, you said no. Well, here's a Pampor for you. You could have one shot. Now, I think Fitta still one shots it. I'm not even gonna lie. Fitta is a good freaking Pokemon, but Turbo Blaze. Well, you're not weak. You're not resistant to uh, fire anymore. Good job. You've effectively made yourself worse. Um, Belly drum? Oh. I'm glad we killed this thing instantaneously, but that's something I have to worry about later on. Remember when I thought the string was going to be a punishment? It's actually kind of good. It does bite, but it's okay. Um, Speaking of biting, it's a mill tank. Mill tank gets wrecked, and then this is the end of the episode. Right at the 30 minute mark, like... Literally, like, we did it. We did exactly what we wanted to do. We killed this thing. Oh, poor. how is, how am I so much slower than a Miltank? Miltank is, oh wait, oh, that's right. Miltank is actually awkwardly fast. I, again, things that I should be actually knowing. Wow, he actually lived a critical hit storm throw. I am impressed with you, Miltank. You earned my respect today. 
Flame burst. That's fine. We live that fine. We live. Wow, we live that way too comfortably. Wow. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is actually a perfect spot to end the episode. Nick's gonna evolve. We're gonna see Nick's ability, and then yeah, that'll be it. It's crazy. So the the fact the amount of th the amount that I talk and the amount that I actually enjoy this and like I'm super excited about this literally makes these episodes fly right by. Let's go, Nick. Let's go. Let's go, Nick. Let's go. Let's go, Nick. Let's go. I forget the the evolution animation is so slow in Gen 7, but in Gen 8 they fixed it. Like that is one thing I will pride Gen 8 on is the fact that they literally made the evolutions pretty instantaneous, so you didn't have to wait on the screen forever. <laughs> so Gothita with the EV light actually is pretty bulky. Oh, well we don't learn a move. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Now uh, for, for the next episode, so let's go ahead and check the ability that Nick has. Better be good. It is. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh my gosh! No way! Oh, I might, I might have to ever zoom this. No way! I might have to ever stone this. Bees boost Gothita with the EV light. So it's a bulky. It's got earth. <laughs> oh my god. It's got coverage for days. Oh my god. This Yeah. Yeah. I need to ever stone this. This thing is staying a Gothita forever. Like. Wow! That is a wild note to end today's episode on. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as we're so close to 1K. We are 99 away from the 1K mark. And I really guys hope you guys, again, enjoy. And we will see you in the next episode on Monday. Peace!